Good morning, my Virgos. Hello, 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 everybody. I have Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck. I have Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the clarifying deck. And the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. So I have a King of Cups, Scorpio energy. And guess what, Virgo? We're in Scorpio season. And I have a Three of Pentacles reverse, Capricorn energy. You know what I feel? King of Cups is a lot of love, a lot of emotional stability. Um, so much so you're, you have, your cup is cup is runneth over. Could be somebody coming your way. And for some of you that are connected, it might, let's see, three of pentacles reverse, a fool reverse, three of wands reverse, and then there's the knight of pentacles. Let's see where this is going. Let's see where this is going. What's below the king of cups? High priestess reverse, king of wands reverse. So let's see what we have here virgo sun moon rising venus virgo if you are a virgo know a virgo feel like being a virgo virgos i'm glad you're here you could be a virgo and this resonates you could be dealing with a virgo it could resonate as the main story and virgo can be the cross watcher this reading could be about a virgo or for a virgo take it as it resonates it almost feels like you know if you had a connection ship recently that kind of fell through the cracks it kind of feels like there's new life breathing into it or this one person wants to see if you know, if you're available again, because when I split the deck, I saw a nine of pentacles, your energy and a nine of cups. And I feel like that's the energy our Virgos are kind of embracing. And there, look at, there's your magician and the chariot. I just feel like you guys are really got this very powerful, look at four swords, feeling really king of wands, the king of cups, two of cups, all this is coming in. And so three of pentacles reversed, you could A, be a single Vir Virgo, maybe you're in the, you just ended something, you know, or are about to end, you know, it could be somewhere in that territory, but it does feel like you got, for the most part, a new energy coming in here. All right, general energy for the Virgos, collective messages. I don't know why I want to keep shuffling. I don't know why. General energy for the Virgos. What is the story that needs to come out today? What is the story that needs to come out for our Virgos? What is it? Empress reverse, Taurus and Libra energy. What's influencing the Empress reverse? What's influencing the Empress reverse? Lovers reverse. Is I saw the lovers reverse. Yeah, there it is. Lovers reverse, the seven of swords, the judgment, and the six of pentacles. I feel, Virgo, this... This could, I mean, of course, this could be you, Virgos, but I almost feel like this is the energy coming at you. Lovers reverse and the Seven of Swords. Let's see where we're going. We got the Queen of Cups. Okay, what's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? Ace of Cups. A, some of you, this is somebody you've been dealing with, obviously. Lovers reverse in a seven of swords. Somebody, you know, it ended. But the judgment in the six of pentacles is somebody now knows what they want. Ace of cups. And I honestly feel what's influencing this energy is I feel like you have come a long way. You know what I mean? It just feels like you're not needy on this energy or anybody. And it just feels like you are attracting all kinds of energies, the past, the new, um, because you guys are really standing strong like that king, king of cups um, who stands really strong in the ocean. She's got her ship, but she's also harboring ships below her. That's how stable she is emotionally in that card. So, and then we saw the male king of cups upright. So it's like you guys have come a long way. So yes, I do feel like you're attracting all types of energies, even the Empress reverse. And this could have been an energy that didn't need you in the past or want you in the past. And that could have broke you in the past, but not, it, 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 there's no chance it would happen today. Reason for the reading is an Ace of Cups. I feel like somebody is realizing what this connection means. What's in the past? What's in the past for our Virgos? What's in the past for the Virgos? His judgments here and somebody had a wake up call. Queen of Cups, not a, yeah, a lot of love, but lost opportunity. Why? I mean, Knight of Swords reverse, somebody just wasn't on the same playing field. Knight of Wands reverse, and which you know what that feels like, this Knight of Wands reverse, it feels like they were only in it partially. 
they didn't want to really invest for whatever reason. And Knight of Swords reverse is kind of like as soon fast as it started, it ended. Um, that's what it feels like. And this Queen of Cups, it just feels like you, you may have been feeling like you were taken advantage of. Okay, look at that though. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Virgo on their marijuana leafy horse. Not really feeling like you want to maybe rock your stability these days. What's on your mind? What is on Virgo's mind? What is on the Virgo's mind? King of Cups, but a page of wands reverse. That's why I feel like some of you might be a single, single as single Pringle over here. King of Cups reverse is emotionally very feeling stable, but a page of wands reverse is not really looking, not really interested. Um, yeah, world and that's, look at that on your mind, the world moving on. And Virgo's like, I don't really want people who didn't want me, but I also feel with that star reverse on your mind, it's kind of making up for lost time, getting back on track. This feels more tied to your purpose and to your work life. And I feel like some of you are trying to get back on track, honestly. Um, but I, I'm telling you, you have an energy that is really remorseful. Maybe they feel bad the way they treated you. What's in the near future for Virgo? What's in the near future? For th this is a lot of cards that are falling out. High Priestess, but a Six of Swords. Temperance Reverse. Give me, I feel like this is that energy. What's in the near future for Virgo? What's in the near future for the Virgos? And the Fool. Is this coming towards Virgo? Page of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. There's that Six of Swords again and Three of Cups. I would bet my neighbor's house, Virgo, it feels like somebody might be not doing great in their own relationship. If you were in a third party, I feel like this person has really good memories of you. That's kind of what I'm feeling. High Priestess and the Fool. High Priestess feels a bit stalkery to me too. I feel like somebody's like, should I say something? Should I not say something? Should I try again? It's been so long or should I stay where I'm at? But I feel like somebody really watches you. But with you, I'm sorry, I'm really looking at these cards. On your mind is a world and a star reverse. Two major majors. The world is 20. And then we have the star reverses going back and making up for lost time. There's something you guys wish you did differently on your mind. And, and maybe you feel like you missed out on an opportunity. If that's the case, that full energy could even be you guys saying, you know what? There's As long as I'm on this side of the earth, there's no such thing as lost, lost an opportunity. I'm just going to go and create another one, which is a very magician thing of you guys to do. So let's see. Page of Pentacles and Four of Swords, though, I feel like somebody who's got harboring feelings i do feel like they might end up speaking look at the lover showing itself in the two of cups man you really were i think the best thing this person ever got connected to but they didn't say it what is this empress reverse center of the reading virgo empress reverse taurus and libra energy empress reverse i don't feel like somebody's in a good emotional place right now empress reverse and the two of wands and it feels like it really does feel like somebody's getting out of a relationship two of wands empress reverse or who they're connect yeah ten of wands reverse twos and tarot talk about making a decision and this person's like should i keep trying with this or stop ten of wands reverse is dropping the burden running away from this not really running away but maybe thrown in the towel tens and tarot talk about a cycle coming to an end and with it being reverse it's accepting that maybe and you know maybe something's run its course and i feel like this is somebody you already dealt with because judgment is an epiphany about this lover's reverse i feel like somebody manipulated you or lied or something it feels secrety to me what's the seven of swords and the lovers reverse and the eight of swords does it oh my gosh virgo could that be guilt it, does somebody have guilt over the way they treated you eight of swords that is a guilt card to me 
with a lover's reverse and a judgment and a six of pentacles. Ooh, this feels like somebody's got a bit of guilt here. What's the eight of swords and the queen of pentacles? I feel like somebody should have invested in you. What's the ace of cups reason for the reading? Big love, the only love, not seven of cups, but the only cup. Ace of Cups, reason for the reading. What is that? Look at the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of... This is where I feel like you are. You're in the money. You're, you're looking at things logically these days. You're saying, will this break, buy me... Not buy me. Well, maybe buy you too, but bring you happiness. If it doesn't bring me happiness, I don't want a part of it. I don't want drama mamas, drama dadas, whatever. I don't want any of that. I don't want to be part of any of that. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Swords Reverse is pretty damn good energy. So what fell out? Tower and a Two of Pentacles Reverse. I feel like tables are turned, have really turned in, in a connection here. The tower is something dropping into your life. Two of Pentacles Reverse is, I feel like somebody wants to go back in time and do something differently. Speaking of, there's George the Virgo upstairs barking. No, two of pentacles reverse almost feels like they want to spin the wheels backwards and do something differently. But I also feel Virgo wants to do things differently too, but not in this connection, but in your life. There's somewhere you're just like, man, I really, it's like, I feel like you guys have really grown and really matured spiritually and come a long way. That's just what I feel. Come a long way. And so what's this queen of cups and knight of wands reverse? and the Knight of Swords reverse in the past for Virgo. And the Hermit and the Page of Swords. I th honestly, I feel like losing them is where you found you. The Hermit holds a star with a lantern and a Page of Swords. I also feel this person is seeing if, you know, don't be surprised if somehow, some way, they're on your radar. Some, are they going to like something? Are they going to put something out there? So you try to remember, jog their mem your memory. Something is going to happen because the page of swords and the hermit is searching and it's on, I feel online or somebody's digging. I felt that even here. And the star reverse on your mind tells me that you're not connected to this energy at all. Also, going back to a personal read for you guys, the star reverse on your mind, once upon a time, you thought you had it in your hand and your lantern, it was lighting the way. And I see in the moon, he's in the moon searching for the sun going to the next mountaintop. I feel like instead of going to that next mountaintop, I think you guys forgot that you've had the light all along, trying to find your star, your hopefulness, your happiness and other people's lanterns. And you know what? You realize now it doesn't work like that. It really doesn't work like that. True happiness comes from you living your purposeful life, living a, a true life of, with true intentions. You know, if you can't find that in other people, the world and the star reverse on your mind, there it is. It's this that flips three of cups but a four of pentacles reverse. So somebody going to come in all friendly. Four of pentacles reverse. I feel like some, I do feel like somebody's single. I do. I can't not feel that. Okay. What is this high priestess reverse in the fool? Or not reverse. I said reverse. Maybe you guys should take it as reverse as a red flag. No, high priestess upright in the fool. What is that about? Knight of Swords reverse. Remember me, Virgo? Remember me, the one that didn't think you were good enough for me? Yeah, well, I'm free. And I think you might be okay for me now. That's what I'm kind of feeling on that one. I mean, I know it's it's an opportunity of a lifetime, it sounds like, but seriously. Knight of Swords reverse, the Fool and the High Priestess. And the Ace of Pentacles. Some things are full circle, aren't they? There's the Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Swords, it's the way somebody snuck out of your life, they're trying to sneak back in. Nine of Cups and the Four of Wands, but do you want to rock this happiness? This is a lot of emotional stability. Nine of Cups is you found your happily ever after. Four of Wands, once again, we've had a Four of Swords, there's a Four of Pentacles, well, it's reverse up there. I feel like you've shaken out things that haven't made you very happy or stable. 
for fours and tarot talk about where we find our stability and i feel like you found it within yourself i think somebody's got to do that same i think you're dealing with somebody who's still searching in other people so it tells me they might get bored easily i don't know why i got that but i do kind of feel that but I do feel like you guys want to get back on track personally and your purpose and your career and your job. And love may not be the biggest thing for you right now. But I'm telling you, you are attracting, you're attracting all kinds of new opportunities, old opportunities. So when you're in the magician mode, use it to your advantage. Um, you can just stay and attract negative things if that's all you want to focus on, or you could attract positive things if that's what you want to focus on. That's why you got to be very careful because I feel very magician energy with you. So when you are in the magician energy, um, you know, great power comes great responsibility. Like we learn in Spider-Man. No, seriously, you have to focus on the things you want because if you slip into this negative mode, you will bring that in. So it's your responsibility where you want to put that energy and that's what you're going to be pulling in. So I feel like you guys are very magnetic, but you also have to be con conscientious where you're putting that energy to. Because if you, you know, I can keep going and going, but I think I'm just going to talk in circles. I do feel like you guys are really getting back on track in a very big way. And I do feel like somebody's in a really bad way. And I feel like you were always their bright light that they lost and they want star reverse. They lost your light and I feel like they want it back again. So I have that. It's a huge, all kinds of different things going on in this reading. All right, Virgos, have a great rest of your uh, day and week and I'll see you cutie pies later. Take care.